Hey y'all, we have left my quirky quarter acre and we are currently at an undisclosed location. <laughs> and I'm here because I have been granted some space to do an experiment and this is what's going on. So this is a pile of wood chips and I am not sure how many truckloads this is but it has been here for quite some time and it is decomposing quite well. So the experiment is to plant some different things. Uh, you can see them here, the viney, viney things. And what we're doing is it's kind of a plant it and forget about it kind of thing. So I'm just going to plant them here and basically just not do anything to them until it's time to harvest and see how well they do and what happens with the plants. I gave five kinds of seeds and I will probably have to put those in later because I don't remember <laughs> all of them. Uh, I do know there is a gourd and pumpkins and winter squash. You can see the size of this one. I'll walk over here. And uh, you can see just how big these leaves are. I'm not sure what this one is, but I'm pretty sure it's a pumpkin. The person who is collaborating with me on this uh, planted the seeds for me and uh, planted two seeds of each type. So there are 10 plants. Look at the size of this leaf, y'all. These wood chips are excellent fertilizer. Here's the kush, y'all. Two plants. I mean, putting what I've got in my little main garden to shame. Now, because this is in the middle of a field and it's viney, we're going to put up some bamboo poles for them to climb. Thing. I can't believe this. This two plants. These are the beehives, and I am filming that with the zoom lens because there are a lot of bees over there. We found a marker for this plant. This is the goblin's egg gourd. And uh, I'm pretty excited about those because those are going to be a lot of fun to craft with if they make a lot. And at the rate they're growing, <laughs> I think we may have plenty. And I think I even see a bloom in here already. Yes, oh my goodness. Loads of blooms and baby gourds already, you guys. So my partner in crime has gone to get the tools to cut the bamboo and then we're going to drag it up here and we're going to make a sort of a a tent over the, the wood chips and then try to train these guys so they'll grow up so that they won't be spreading out too much into the field and we'll get run over with the mower. So that's the plan and we'll see how this goes. And there is the bamboo forest. <laughs> the bamboo field that we're going to get it from, it's pretty tall. Okay, here it is, and we're hot and we're tired, so we're going to go get something cold to drink, and I will check on this again sometime in the near future. Okay, y'all, <laughs> look at this. This is three weeks later. We put the bamboo up here. Uh, my partner in experimentation did have to come up here and tie the tops together to keep them from rolling off but the vines took to it. Now this vine here is dying and we're not sure why but we're not going to worry about it because this whole experiment has been to just plant these here in this pile of wood chips 
and let them go and not do anything to it. No spray, no weeding, absolutely no care at all. And we're just gonna let them go and let them run and see what they produce growing in this pure organic matter that is these wood chips. Okay, so what we have planted here is the North Georgia Candy Roaster right here first of all look at the size of these leaves look at that fruit and it's not ready yet y'all it's still soft this is a winter squash and it is not the only one there are a bunch in here here are a couple more in various stages. These guys are going to be gigantic. And some of y'all know that I love gourds. I mean, I love squash, but I also love gourds. And I have some gourds growing here that I was hoping to get a few so that I could make Christmas ornaments. <laughs> Wait until you see what is going on over there. This is the goblin's egg gourd vine. And I'm here to tell you, these are absolutely loaded down with fruit. Let me see if I can get y'all in here. Look at these, y'all. Look how beautiful, and they are loaded. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, just within a quick eye view. And here we have uh, what I thought was a Tennessee spinner, but for some reason they are not quite uh, looking like Tennessee spinners. They are actually also egg-shaped. And uh, that's very interesting. <laughs> so these could possibly be nest egg gourds, but I thought that I planted Tennessee spinners. At any rate, I am very happy with the number and size of these gourds. Now let's talk about that Cherokee Tan Cross. We've got a fruit here. And there's a couple more different shapes. And there's one more. And here's one more. And these are all, believe it or not, from the same parent plant last year. Uh, what I called the mutant pumpkin that tried to take over the world. It was supposed to be a Cherokee tan, and it was obviously crossed with a butternut, and I had uh, five fruits in like four different sizes, and um, these are growing from those seeds. So it's pretty exciting, and once I get in here and harvest them later in the fall, it'll be really cool to see how many, and how many shapes, and how many sizes, and if any of them are different colors. But I have one more thing to show you, and I'm super excited about it. But that is a Kushaw, and it is a big one. There's another one. It's a smallish one, but it's growing. Okay, now I'm going to see if I can get in here and show y'all this one. I mean, I... Y'all, I am just, I am amazed at what this wood chip stuff is doing. But look at that. 